Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 24. Now, this is the story, uh, this is where it's told about the man who protected the line of David from uh, a wicked queen by the name of Athalia. In fact, she is called a wicked queen in this particular chapter as well as in the previous one. But uh, when, she, when her son, the king, was killed, then, then she saw the opportunity, then she stepped into the void in leadership in, uh, in the nation of Judah. And she had all of his children killed, she thought. There was one child, the youngest, who was just a baby at the time, that was spirited away and kept hidden from her while she ruled the land. And about six or eight years later, uh, the, the priest who was, uh, was actually uh, the one who spirited this child away, he brought him out and he said, this is the rightful king. And so as Athalia was killed as a result of that, and all the years while this particular young man was the king and, and the priest Jehoiada was his, was his counselor, they followed the Lord faithfully. But in chapter 24, starting at verse 17, it says, Now after the death of Jehoiada, the princes of Judah came and paid homage to the king. Essentially, they came and they flattered him, and he fell for their flattery. And so as a result, the king listened to them, and verse 18 says, And they abandoned the house of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and served the Asherim and the idols, and wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for this guilt of theirs. While Jehoiada was there, and while he had an influence upon the king, then everything was fine. But once he was removed, then all of a sudden evil came in and started to uh, work its magic among those people. Now, we need to recognize that, that the counselors around a leader are so very important. They, there is a lot of flattery that goes on to powerful people in our day, and we need to watch for that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes we, in the, at the grassroots level, are powerless to do anything about that. But we do recognize that this same power struggle and this same power structure is in place in, in countries all around the world in every age. It's not unique to Judah. It's not unique to our country. But these are the people who, who, um, who basically flatter their way into positions of power. And that's part of the reason why living in a place where we are uh, bound by a constitution instead of a, uh, a dictator, uh, that's why this is such a very, very important thing that we return to that. Now, as you have seen, and as all of us have seen, uh, even despite our constitution, there are many people who flatter their way into positions of power. Uh, but as, as those in the grassroots, the answer to that, we may not be able to, uh, to, to remove people from those positions. But if we hold them accountable to that constitution that they have sworn to uphold, that will go a long way toward, uh, toward rectifying many of the failures and the failings of our government and of our leaders. These people, excuse me, flattered their way into uh, the king's life. And as a result of that, the, the, the nation uh, languished and the nation struggled. So we need to, we need to pray for our leaders. We need to pray that, that the Lord would put around our leaders people of integrity and even godliness uh, I know, I know we, uh, we are not necessarily a, in a, uh, an overtly Christian nation anymore, but we do need people of integrity to be in positions of leadership. 
and that's what we should be looking for, and that's what we should be electing. And, and as we do this particular video blog, we are in an election year. And so we need to look and, and watch for people who have demonstrated integrity in the past. It isn't a guarantee that they won't be corrupted, but we do, to the best of our ability, try to make sure that we elect people of integrity. Because these are the people that may be able to be flattered into leading us astray in our particular country. Father, I pray that your mercy would be poured out upon our nation, and not just ours, but around the world. There are people who are listening to this video blog who don't live in the United States, and I pray that, that in every place where there are elections and where there are people who are coming in and out of government, that you would put in place those who have integrity and honor. And Father, I pray that, uh, that the Holy Spirit would establish in each place those that you desire to be in charge. And, and may their rulings and may their leadership reflect your plan and your purpose for this world. We entrust those things to you. We rejoice that you're sovereign, but we entrust to you the leaders that we elect. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.